case 12. So not all that dissimilar from the ORC case. Um, yeah. But here, yep, it's less of a discrete papule. Um, again, looks like a lot of papillary dermal edema. And then um, up higher in the epidermis, like stratum spinosum, um, in granular layer, we are getting more of that looting degeneration type change. Um, swollen cells, they're very rounded up. Um, so this doesn't have quite the right look for like the HSV, VZV type psychopathic change. Um, so we're getting less of those 4M features and more of just the swollen, rounded up um, degenerative change. So um, kind of an interesting differential on this one. It could include ORF, but less consistent without that papule change. Yeah. Um, but could also consider like papular purpuric gloves and socks syndrome. Good. Um, yeah, which would typically be Parvo B19, but there are a couple other viruses that can cause that as well. And then I think the other big differential is hand, foot, and mouth on this one. Excellent. And I love that you thought of parvovirus gloves and socks. I've only seen one case that we thought really did fit for that clinically. And I think they, I think they did a blood test in that case. I want to say that it was confirmed actually by either serology or PCR. It was a long time ago, but I've seen it only once and it did kind of have this look. This, this, in this case was clinically hand, foot, and mouth, you know, which will be, you know, painful papules or pustules on the hands and or feet and also the mouth. And also sometimes I've heard that the buttock is a good site, even though it's not uh, not classically in the name, but that uh, it can be on the buttock. And so I think that your differential is great, uh, Kate. And I like that you brought up that, you know, th this has the general viral appearance. And I don't know exactly how to put it in words. It is kind of a gestalt, but the ballooning degeneration or reticular degeneration where the epidermis gets, the, the keratinocytes get pale, expanded cytoplasm and pale nuclei and begin to die. And then the epidermis kind of strings out and gets all this spongy or edema-like space in between, between strands of dead and dying pale keratinocytes, what we call the pale change we call ballooning degeneration. The stranding and falling apart we call reticular degeneration or kind of vesicular-like change. And that mixture together, especially with dermal edema and perivascular, all of that makes me think of virus in general, but particularly I would think of it with yeah either parvo, parvo gloves and socks or if it were multiple papules on the hand um, or mouth, I would think of, uh, of hand, foot, mouth disease from Coxsackie virus, right? And so um, even if I, otherwise I would just even suggest other viral etiology could be there. You could think about herpes. You could do the stain if you weren't sure, but I agree with you that I don't see any good herpes type 3M or 4M, you know, multinucleation molding margination here. But this was a nice case of hand, foot, mouth. And I, I feel like the really dramatic papillary dermal edema and hemorrhage too is really good finding uh, that we really do see a lot in hand, foot, mouth. But I would say early ORF could probably look like this. I've never, I've like I said, only seen one biopsy of ORF and it was a really dramatic kind of uh, more pronounced case. But I would imagine from the clinical photos that early ORF could have similar appearances microscopically. And see here, look, the ballooning change is kind of just starting out in scattered apoptotic cells here. And on the other side, we see the more kind of advanced uh, uh, ballooning and reticular degeneration. So nice case. And I've got a couple other cases and videos of hand, foot, mouth on, on my uh, index on Kiko. I'll try to link those down below.